Sometimes, when you're adjusting your images, you don't need to adjust the whole image, just selected areas. And that's exactly what you can do with the masking tools in Skylim Luminar Neo. Hello, I'm Rod Lawton, and this is a video for amateur photographer on Skylim Luminar Neo's masking tools, what they can do, what they can achieve, and how you use them. Now, when you're using Luminar Neo's AI tools, these are automatically identifying the areas and objects in your photograph and masking them so that the effect you're applying is applied only to those areas that need it. Now, all of this is done by AI. You don't have to do a thing. However, there are times when you might want to take over the masking yourself. And this is one example. In this image, we've got this bird sitting on the branch and it's not really standing out particularly well. So we can use Luminar Neo's tools to bring it out rather better. But we first of all need to identify which areas of the scene we want to work on. And in this instance, it's the bird. So for this, we're going to use masking tools. Now there are quite a few masking tools to choose from, so let's have a quick look. Taking our bird as an example, let's say we want to increase the detail. So we need the details tool, and if we start adjusting the sliders, you'll see that we do improve the details in the bird, but we're kind of increasing details in the rest of the photograph and it doesn't really work. So we need to mask out the bird. So click the masking tab and you'll see there are some options. So the simplest is the brush tool, and you can use this to paint over an area you want to mask out. But you have to be quite good at uh, painting freehand and not making any mistakes, and it's easy to accidentally take in areas of the photo you didn't mean to. Let's have a look at some of the other tools. There's the linear gradient tool, which is very useful on landscapes because you can use it to drag down over the sky, for example, and just darken the sky. Again, it's not something we'll use here, but it's useful to know about. Radial gradient, quite similar. This time, instead of a linear gradient, you get to draw a circle, which feathers away towards the edges outside that outer circle. Again, this is really useful for certain types of images. Not this time, but at least you can see how that works. A luminosity mask is quite a technical thing. It masks areas of the image based on their brightness. That's probably a bit advanced for what this particular image needs, so we'll move on to AI Mask. So this is interesting because what it does is it analyzes the whole image and works out what's in it. So for example, it's figured out that this image has sky and you can see the sky mask there. It's worked out there is some sky, there is some flora, there is some water, not quite sure about the water, but there is also natural ground. So the natural ground, for example, it's worked out is this branch. It's not a perfect mask, but you know, you can adjust it later and it gives you an idea of how this works. We deselect that, we can select flora, and it's trying to figure out what parts of the image are flora. Now, in this instance, it's not working particularly well, so we need to look at the final option, which is object selection. And this is really interesting. So if we select this, once Luminar Neo has analysed the image, we can simply move the mouse pointer over what we're interested in. Straight away, we've got the bird. This is a really nice mask that tightly defines the bird and leaves out everything else. So if we click that, we've added that as a mask, and we can now go back to our adjustments. We increase the details. Now we're only increasing the details in the bird. That's exactly what we want. Small details too? Why not? It's looking much crisper and much sharper already. So what do we do next? How about looking at the color? We can increase the color saturation. But the mask we created was just for the detail tool. If we're going to do any adjustments to color, do we have to create that mask all over again? We do, and then, so we have to go through the whole process. This could get a bit annoying if we want to apply a whole bunch of tools to the same object. Wouldn't it be better if we could just mask it once, then do everything we want to do? Well, we can, and here's how we do it. It's using Luminar Neo's layers. Now, over on the left of the screen, you'll see a little section for layers. What we need to do is we need to right click on the image layer we have at the moment, 
and duplicate the layer. Now then, if we go over to the layer properties over on the right side, we can select the masking tab and we have the same tools as before. So if we go for object select again, move the mouse over the bird, click to confirm. Now we have the bird selected again, just like before, but this time that mask is applied to the whole layer. And now that we have that, we can apply lots of adjustments to this layer and it will all use that same layer mask. So let's go back to our details. We will increase the medium details. We will increase the small details, not too much. That looks about right. Maybe we'll use the structure tool as well. Give it a bit more structure. That's looking pretty good. How about some more color? Just a little bit more color saturation. Okay, not bad at all. I'm gonna finish off by going to the develop tool and there is a curve section here. You don't normally see it, but there are lots of other sections in the develop panel and curves is one of them. So I'm just going to just brighten this whole bird up a little, maybe adjust the bottom of the curve just to make the shadows a bit richer. I mean, curves adjustments are a fairly advanced technique, but you know, I'm just doing this so that you can see how a single layer mask lets you apply lots of different tools to a single area of your photo. So that was a really quick tour of Luminar Neo's masking tools uh, and how they work. I hope you find it useful. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. See you next time.